I don't know what we're doing. What are, we, what are we doing? Yeah, that's true. You're not that bright. <laughs> Burn! Did you bring those in here for that? Yep. <laughs>
the film. That's either Amazon's subbing or the censor board subbing, but that is one giant problem with it. If you're not Hindi speaking, you're gonna be distracted by the subtitles in this pretty much nonstop. Yeah, so it was, it was a big letdown for me. It was a big I letdown. Had, I had big expectations for it. Mm -hmm. um, so if, uh, that's that's the non-spoiler review. We'll get into the rest of it now. But yeah. if, if you haven't watched it and you wanna go watch it, go watch it uh, and then come back if you don't wanna be spoiled. If you don't care, stick around. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but let's talk about the stuff I, I did. I thought Farhan did a very good job with what he had. Yeah, um, but... he, like, I feel it wasn't his fault that it, the, the, the film, um, cause I feel like if he was given a good script in terms of not only plot, but also dialogue, right? He could have like, this is, could have been one of his best performances in terms of like, if he had that, but he had such like a vanilla script. It was like the, each thing that came on the script was like just the further along the, 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 the script, nothing. It was like, none of it was organic. Right. You knew every single thing that was coming. Yes. So like, if this was like directed and written by like Anurag, it would have been like all natural dialogue. There would have been some creativity in the writing. And I feel like he put enough into it <laughs> that it would have been elevated obviously with a much better script. I think, um, I think as far as he's concerned, you're letting him off the hook per se. No. So he, here's why. First of all... Also, did you change the language? Did I change the language? Yeah. No, the, uh, the original language that was on Amazon was English for some reason, dubbed English. Oh, I didn't watch it dubbed. Okay, good. I watched good. it in Hindi. Good. Yeah. The, the original, when I turned it on, it was English dubbed. And I was like, what the hell is going on? Like it was Sacred Games? That right, was right, right. No, 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 no. Change it. I was just making sure. No, it was that, but I did notice, and it could have been just, I don't know. In the, the first, there were a couple of moments where the sound wasn't matching. And I think that just may have been a technical glitch. I don't oh, know if that fun. was the finished copy, but here's why I think yeah. you're letting Farhan off the hook. And if you've been around a while, if you're a stupid baby who's been here a while, you know we love Farhan Akhtar. We think he's a really solid actor. Bog Milkabog proved that he could portray a character from history in a way where he fully embodies the disciplines of the character as an athlete, which mm -hmm. is one of the reasons we were so excited. The reason I'm, I feel like he's, he, you're letting him off the hook per se is he produced this thing. So he's got the control. Mm -hmm. If he didn't like the script, he could change it because he's the one writing checks. Oh yeah, oh no, I'm, I'm not talking about the film as a whole. The film as a whole, I agree, but his performance I thought he did an, uh, a, a good job in terms of like, he was my favorite part of the entire thing. Like, like I, I could watch him uh, and I was like, at least he's putting on a good well, performance. Yeah, I'm not talking like, it's no. not like Fafa in, in no. anything, but it, he at least put on a good performance. Yeah, uh, and I thought it could have been way better if like, I think the creative team and the writing did any kind of create, like produced anything that wasn't just, everything that's been in a boxing film ever before. Ever. Yeah, the story and the script, there, was, there wasn't there was anything original about it. None. There was nothing original all about the, the fight cliches, sequences. All the cliches. Yeah, the fight sequences, as far as the way they were shot, we saw that 40 years ago in all the Rocky films. Yeah. Uh, and also there were some technical aspects of the fighting that were annoying to me yeah. because they weren't accurate when yeah. you, and I'm, the reason I can say I know that is because the only thing besides baseball I have followed closely as a sport, really closely, is combat sports, boxing as a kid, and then when MMA they got really big. But I still, three or four nights a week, yeah. I'm watching either kickboxing, MMA, or occasionally some boxing. Yeah. So there were some technical aspects. Uh, he, um, I, there were two, it felt some, you know what it felt like to me mm -hmm. sometimes for him? Ben Stiller got on this kick where he was doing films and it felt like he was doing them just because he wanted everybody to see how in shape he was. Mm -hmm. Ben it, Stiller? Ben Stiller. He did a couple of films where he was built. Really? And he wanted everybody to know he could do it. Yeah. Um, ben Stiller. What films are you talking about? Well, first of all, Tropic Thunder. Oh, that's a comedy though. I know, but... <laughs> I love that movie. I, I do that. too. <laughs> yeah. I love that movie, but in that era is when he got oh. in this kick of Bubbing doing buff. doing things okay. where he was pumped up and buffed. Okay. The other thing is, the believability factor, that's the biggest thing. For, I've got 11 notes about the lack of believability, yeah. and one of them is, I, okay, granted, we don't know about the boxing circles in India, mm. but nobody his age is going to be taken seriously mm. as a starting off boxer. Yeah, the, the age was, ever. he was definitely too old. He would be laughed out of the gym as, what are you even thinking about? Uh, unless you're Floyd Mayweather fighting a YouTuber, you know. Yeah, <laughs> but then at that point, you're Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so the person I actually, 
I, I felt like I wanted to say, you know, if she was watching, I'd say, I see you, is Runnell, if I'm mispronouncing your name. The love interest? Yeah. I felt like she did even, I felt like she, for me, did the best with what she was given. Well, I thought her, and I liked the coach as well for the most part. I thought some of the writing, that happened with every single character. It was, a lot of it was extremely cheesy. It, you and, just can't get past just, that. It's, it's difficult to really appreciate. They underutilized to the fucking fullest VJ Roz. My God. <laughs> like, he comes on, I'm like, oh, cool, VJ Roz. I know. He's doing a great job. I know. I love his character. He's in four scenes. Probably total of four minutes, and they bring him back at the end like I'm supposed to have cared that like, in the beginning. Like, why is VJ Roth back? I know, I know. Oh, it was so frustrating. Yeah. The fact, like, uh, this is one of the most... I don't... <laughs> it feels like they didn't put any creativity in the writing. No, it felt heavy-handed, and yeah. I don't mean that in a good way for a fighting film. It yeah. felt heavy-handed. It felt... Even, for example, when, when the coach and his buddies start talking about ordering Chinese food, and that becomes a religious bigotry issue, I yeah. felt like that trying to infuse the religious bigotry underneath mm. it. I knew, uh, I knew the issue way ahead of time. I was like, okay, yeah, we're gonna have an issue by the fact that he doesn't yeah. know that's the dad and yeah. he doesn't know. And there's a religion and yeah, then yeah. he comes in in the end and of course he wins in the end. He comes yeah. back after five years, apparently wins it all. He's in perfectly good shape after three months. Uh, there's apparently no other good boxers. <laughs> Like, <laughs> yeah, and I also felt we could have found a more creative way to kill her than just a bridge collapsing. Yeah. Um, I would have... There are so many different things I think would have contributed to this and had, had such high hopes for it. Yeah. And you have to compare films about fighting in any way, shape, or form with the other films that have come in the past that have been so great. And the ones we just listed before, the list I went through of Cinderella. Even Warrior. 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 Yeah. Warrior is... And, and what makes them great isn't just, I mean, it's kind of a foregone. The fighting sequences and the technical aspects have to be believable. That's just like, that's just to give the film a pulse. Yeah, but this didn't even have good fights, really. Exactly. There was a few good moments at the end in terms of some of the fights, but that's about it. No. And I, I'm, I'm like nitpicking at that point. I'm like, I'm trying to find something good with really? the fights. That, because like with a boxing film, you at least need to have a good fight. Right. And I didn't. I feel like they cut away a lot of the times. They they like, used the ropes to distract. A lot yeah. of the punching was to the. So many times punches were thrown where it was intentionally just I'm going to punch you in the shoulder. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to jab your glove, not your face. Yeah. Um. So and again, we root for movies. We don't want movies oh, to be bad. You know, we, we were want, looking forward to this and wanted it to. We be want good. every movie we see to be spectacular. We don't want a bad movie to be made. Uh, but even there was nothing. I don't have any notes at all. For cinematography, art direction, no. score. Yeah. Uh, the score was, I, I think, bad. I, I did not like the score. It was too melodramatic at times. And all the songs in there, didn't need them. They were forgettable. Yeah, the musical numbers. I, I agree. Didn't need them, and they were all forgettable. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and I didn't like, like, because a lot of times, they did it in Drishium as well. Drishium 2. Yes. Where they tried to put this big emotional thing behind what should bring out your emotion. I was like, stop right. it. Right. Please. Uh, <laughs> so I just, like... I, I just don't know what... If they were just trying to put out a boxing movie, maybe? Like, there was like, we have Farhan, I want to do a boxing film. I, let, who cares it, about the rest? It I genuinely... I just don't think Farhan would do that. I didn't think he was the guy, know. you know? Well, here's the thing. So, some of you may even put this in the comments. We, we know he's 47, okay? We know he's in spectacular shape for a man of his age. And that if there was ever a time in his life where he's gonna do a film where he gets to play a fighter, maybe he has dreamed all of his life to do a boxing film. Freaking do it, I get it. Make a, make a boxing film, however, what I was expecting from the trailer, I was genuinely thinking that this guy was a legit down and out guy. Like even in Rocky, he's too old and he's 27. Yeah. You know, he's like a, a washed up has-been at 27. Yeah. So I was expecting maybe this guy to have been like a Mike Tyson really bad part of town, really bad kid who grew up and is beyond the age of a Mike Tyson. No one ever gave him a shot, but he was heavy handed. And like in Warrior, he goes into the place and out of nowhere, he just knocks the crap out of some contender and everybody goes, who the, who is that? Yeah. And you get this story of a guy that should have had a shot and you're rooting for him. And the girlfriend is the only one who sees it. And she has to convince her dad, the coach, I see something in him. Yeah, but he's a, he's this, even bring in the religious aspects of who he is as a Muslim and then get him to the place where he actually loses. Yeah. But had a shot. 
and the end is they're in love with each other because ultimately it was about her belief in him yeah. that got him to change as his life. As opposed to, he's going to throw this fight, the next scene. He got caught for that. While he's going up the escalator. And he so easily threw it. It just, it just, everything it was too easy. Yeah. Just it was too easy. extremely predictable. Yeah. Extremely. Like, they just watched all the other boxing films and tried to piece it together and be like, yeah, that we'll put that in there. Like, and that's all I can say. It's like, <sighs> extremely average to mediocre film. But I did, for the, my takeaway from this as far as the thing I liked most, which is, I, there wasn't much that I liked, I saw the potential in, and I saw this in the trailers, mm. I saw mm. both of them, but we expect that from Farhan because yeah. we know him. But since I don't know her very well, I, I see her. I see an actress there that if she's given something of substance and given something that's written really, really well, I think she could shine yeah. brightly. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I think she definitely had a great presence. Yeah. I think if, if this was in the hands of somebody who would make it a grittier film, it could have been there. Obviously, Farhan can definitely bring the performance. At least believable. Yeah, but this was just... Grit would have been a nice addition. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you know, especially just, for fighters. It just seemed like they just wanted to put out a boxing film and they didn't really care. Yeah. That's unfortunately Because I was really looking... I even said in the trailer, I was like, this looks like it could be the best film of the year. Yeah. Did and not. I, I was ready to put songs in my playlist from this thing. Nope. But that, that's not happening. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. So, so sorry. We love you, Farhan. Uh, yeah. Oh, we love you, Farhan. We Anna. really do. Uh, please uh, please come talk to us, for one. Yeah. Uh, and uh, let us know what the next Farhan Akhtar film should be uh, that we should watch. Because uh, we've only we've actually only seen, what? Two three, or three. Three or something? This. Uh, this. Obviously, Bog Milka Bog. He was in, what was the last one we just saw? with Luck by Chance. Luck by Chance. Uh, and then the, the other Deborah. one. Deborah. He's in Deborah, and he's also in. So uh, we've seen at least five, five. at yeah. least five Farhan films. At least five, but yeah. obviously he's been around a long time. We need to see a lot more. So let us know what you thought about this film, and uh, what should be the next Farhan Oktar film we watch down below. Yeah.